Well, hi there. It's Brooke, Coco, and Rex. Because they can't leave my side right now, I guess. Especially this one. Oh, yes. You guys are so nice. So if you hear weird things in here while I'm doing my tear trays, it's them. It's not me. <laughs> what? Shake? Give me a shake. High five? Okay, good boy. Good boy. Hi. So I have... <laughs> You just wait, okay? Let me finish. I have four more tier trays for you for the 4th of July. A couple Target tier trays and then a couple medium trays. And then we're done <laughs> with the 4th of July tier trays. Let me know if you've been enjoying these. And let's get to tier tray in. For my first Target tier tray, I was just thinking about using this little felt pie that I have. And then this is just a little white tiered stand. I want to say from like the Christmas section at Hobby Lobby. They do have little 4th of July ones out right now. We'll put red ones out for like Valentine's and stuff. And then I just have this star jar. I think this is a Hobby Lobby. Yes, it is. Not sure if they still have these or not. You have to let me know if you have seen them this year. And then up on the top, I just put my little flip sign from Hobby Lobby. It says happy 4th. Fourth of July. I tried to put other stuff up here with it and it just, I don't know, it just didn't fit or I wasn't feeling it. So I just ended up leaving this sign up here and just made it super simple. I just added a couple of my measuring spoons and there is my little Target cheer tray Fourth of July. It's just super simple. It's kind of geared more towards the kitchen with the pie and the like measuring spoons, but you could use it anywhere. The next Target cheer tray is just this like rectangle metal black one. And the first item I chose to use is this flag mug from Hobby Lobby. It does say let freedom ring here on the side and then it's blue and it has a flag on both sides so you can kind of set it either way, which is nice because sometimes the handle doesn't always go exactly where you want it to. And then of course, if we have some coffee, we might as well have some pie with it, right? There's my other piece of pie, my blue one. And then up on the top, I just grabbed these two little blue dishes I have. Um, I do have three, I got them from Susan, but I only used two up here. Three was a little high. I just used one of my flower sack towels and I just rolled it up. This is from, I wanna say, it's either Target or Hobby Lobby. I'm not 100% sure. Or my little bowls, what goes better with pie than some ice cream? I just grabbed my vanilla and chocolate one. I do have a strawberry one also. I just thought these two fit better. There's my little pie tray. <laughs> this would be one of those trays that you could kind of leave up year round. You could easily have like a mug for the seasons and pie or something there and a towel and then little bowls or something that you could easily just change it out with very similar things. Or if you just had kind of a standard mug and some standard bowls, you could switch out, you know, just a few things to make it more seasonal or whatever holiday you are decorating for. is my three cheered tray from Dollar General. And I know they have one similar at Hobby Lobby. I really didn't have a plan when I was working on this. I was just grabbing things and filling her up. I grabbed my little 4th of July sign. I got this in like a 
variety pack. And then I use my little firework sign from Hobby Lobby. And then the last sign I used was just the star sign I got off of Etsy. And then I just started filling in with other items. So I have this lantern from the Target Dollar Spot that does need a coin in. To fill in the space up front here, I just used one of my succulent star. This is from Old School Target Dollar Spot. And then to finish off filling in the back, I just grabbed one of my red mason jars. These are in the Valentine's at Hobby Lobby. I think they're good to use for 4th of July, Valentine's, Christmas, I even use them. For the middle tray, I did end up grabbing my navy pickup truck. This is also another Target Bullseye's item. I think pickup trucks are fun. I don't use a lot of them, but you know, they're fun to put on a tray every now and then. And then the other item I used was just this beaded garland from Hobby Lobby. And I just left it like that with just the beads over on the side. For the top, I filled this little jar from Susan with these little red starred bottle caps. And then I put in my other little navy star succulent behind the firecracker. And there is my 4th of July tray. I really like this tray. It's just everything 4th of July I had and away we went. The last one is my metal decor steels tray. In this one, I grabbed my God Bless America, my home sweet home sign. This is from Shopco when Shopco's existed. And I just decided to set that in the back rather than having it front and center. For the bottom, I used my little white truck. I have this little potted ivy I thought would look really cute in the back. We are big Cubs fans in this house and I kept trying to use like my baseball or like my little Cubs hat, you know, the plastic ones where you get like ice cream in. But it just didn't work, but I still kind of wanted to do the ivy because I just thought that was fun. If you don't know, Wrigley Field has a big back wall of ivy. So that's why I used the ivy. And then for some filler, I grabbed my little navy lantern. I have made these little house Houses. My husband cut these out of a piece of wood for me and then I just mod podge some paper on it So these ones are you know red white and blue and then if you flip them around they're black and pink I just put these in the back and staggered them a little and then I added one of my little pinwheels up front These do come with sticks from Hobby Lobby, but I just broke my stick off because I just kind of liked how it looked just sitting up here and with the stick on it just wouldn't like lay nice there And then to finish out the top I have it's just got stripes on it on the top half and then part of it is the stars So it looks like a flag. I just did it so you could see the stars more. I have my little lantern I thrifted this but I know you can get them at like Hobby Lobby or Michaels And then I put in a white flower and a blue flower and there is my last 4th of July tray. I just love 4th of July trays. The red, white, and blue is just such a classic like color scheme together and it's just fun and it makes Well, we are joined by just Coco this time. She's finally figured out she can just lay on the bed and be with me. It's pretty much what she does all the time now. So I don't know why she's being so clingy. Hopefully I'm not dying. 
Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the four tier trays for 4th of July. If that wasn't enough for you, go catch my other video and I will also link all my 4th of July tier trays down below. What I've done for the past four to five years. They're just also fun to make. Now I need to add some touches of 4th of July to my house. I'm gonna do kind of like I did for Valentine's. I just add a few like red, white, and blue touches and call it a day. As always, thank you for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Say bye, Coco. Bye-bye.